All right, first play of the game. Wiseman in the rim protector position. Bites on one fake, completely leaves the ground. Picks up a stupid first foul within the first couple seconds of the game. Here's a Memphis turnover. It's not totally Wiseman's fault, but he could do a better job of getting position and fighting for the ball. Yeah, here's just what happens when you have a, a big guy, you know, clogging the lane. You have a couple guys trying to drive, and they just bounce off him. First guy drives, nope, has to kick it out. Second guy drives, nope, has to stop because he runs into Wiseman. Third guy drives, there's a man there, he has to pull up short. That's just a, you know, a five guy who can't stretch the floor. And here's Wiseman missing a putback attempt. I've said it multiple times, he doesn't have great hands. I mean, this should be an easy putback dunk for him based on his tools. Not misses it. Not the first dunk he misses this game either. Wiseman in pick and roll defense. He comes out a little too far, forces his man to help, gives up an easy bucket like here. You know, he charges so hard out there. Can't recover back to get this guy that forces Precious Achua to step up. That leaves a wide open guy underneath the basket. Now we got Wiseman defending around the perimeter. Pick and roll. This guy switch over to his man. Look at this closeout. Whoop! Flying by his guy. Not exactly a textbook closeout here. Just completely launching himself past this guy. Here's Wiseman getting good position. Ready for a nice alley-oop attempt. And he misses. His second missed dunk of the game. He's 7'1", 240, 76 wingspan. His bread and butter is supposed to be finishing. Not a good look. Here's defending from face-up position. His guy kind of just easily scores right over him. He's a couple inches smaller and a little bit too easy. More examples of bad hands all in the same possession. Could have had that catch, didn't get it. Another chance here coming up. Nope, fumbles the ball. Other team picks it up. What can you say here? Wiseman catches around the foul line, decides to take a spin backwards and a ridiculous fall away. He's just not good at those shots, even though he thinks he is sometimes. Just a bad idea, bad execution. Fifth example of this game of Wiseman not having the strongest hands. Gets both hands on the ball and gets it stripped right away from a guard. Wiseman, the rim protector here. I'm nitpicking, but yep, guy gets bucket right over him and one. Good chance to see Wiseman defensively in isolation here. His man ends up missing the shot, but he doesn't exactly show the quickest hips there. I mean, NBA guards are going to be able to blow right by him. I mean, that was pretty slow reaction time. I know the guy missed the shot, but not promising for his switchability. Now Peyton Pritchard has him in an island, and he just kind of shoots over him in space. Here's just another example of Wiseman clogging the lane for a teammate. Achua has an opportunity here. Looks to drive, but Wiseman's posting up so down low. Now Achua has, ends up being double teamed and has to force a bad shot. We got Wiseman here in a pick and pop attempt. Uh, I mean, he's just not a good enough shooter to be someone you can rely on for these pick and pops. And then here's the last straw. Wiseman catches around the elbow, puts it down for a step back jumper. He can't even release the shot. He's 7'1", 240. And he's trying to shoot over a 6'3 guard, except he's going backwards. I mean, it's just the shot selection. It's the execution. It's the choppiness. I mean, it's okay because he's 19 or whatever, but not for a potential top three pick.